Okay, so now we go to problem sets, and we are here with uh, do this quickly. So these are five minute timers. Question number one, a function that repeats its values at regular intervals is a blank. What is the answer here? It's either periodic or sinusoidal function. So this is either periodic, periodic, or sinusoidal function, okay? That's the answer for question number one. For problems one to 20, sketch the angle in standard position. Mark the reference angle and find its measure. Hmm. So we start with number one. For number one, that's 130 degrees. So let, let's just, you know, uh, in circle, the one that we want to do. So I would like to do 3, 5 or 1, 5, 8, 12. And let's do some, you know, big number. Some of the big angles, I mean. Okay, so we have five numbers. So number one is 130 degrees. So 130 degrees could be sketch with, uh, where, where is it? Where does, where does it lie? It's in between your uh, 180 degrees and your 90 degrees. So it would be somewhere here, right? So this is our ray. And therefore, our reference angle would be, what is our theta ref? This is our theta ref, OK? So theta ref. And what is theta ref here? Theta ref is equal to, how do we solve it? 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. So this is approximately 50, or this is exactly, I mean, 50 degrees. So theta ref is 50 degrees for number one. Number five, 342 degrees. So how do you sketch it? So let's draw some sketchings and straight lines. Okay. So 340 degrees lies in between your 360 degrees and 270 degrees. So it should be on the fourth quadrant. So this would be here. And the sketch would be something like that. So if this is our 342 degrees, so our theta ref here would be the positive acute angle. So definitely this would be our theta ref, okay? And theta ref here would just be equal to 360 degrees minus 342 degrees. So that gives us 18 degrees, okay? That is our theta ref, 18 degrees. Now let's go to number eight. Number eight, 283 degrees. So this is still in between the third and the fourth quadrants. Uh, by the way, when I say, this is a, uh, you know, a few review or a, a short review, okay? A short review for the quadrants. This is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and this is the last quadrant, four. Okay, so uh, when, when I say this stuff, when I talk about this stuff, so don't be confused, okay? So for number eight, our decrease is 283 degrees, and it's in between the, the 270 degrees and uh, 360 degrees. It's still on the fourth quadrant. Okay. So a sketch of that would be 284 or 283. So it would be here. Okay. And then let's try to sketch the the side, the terminal side here. So we have what is our theta ref? Our theta ref is this. And this theta ref could be taken as 
what is this? 360 degrees minus Two hundred eighty-three degrees. So, what is our calculator? What is our calculator? Tell us. Three hundred sixty degrees minus two hundred eighty-three degrees will give us seventy-seven degrees. So, it is seventy-seven degrees for number eight. Number twelve. So, let's go to number twelve. This is negative 86 degrees. Maybe we could take this on the next slide. So that's negative 86 and 721. Negative number 12 is negative 86. And number 18 is 7321 seven three two one degrees okay those are the axes so for negative 86 degrees because it's negative we will start from a counterclockwise direction, but on the same uh, hor positive horizontal x-axis. So negative 86 degrees is in between your third, or your in between your first, I mean in between here, so it's in the fourth quadrant, okay? So in, the, in that case, that will be something like here. So this is your negative 86 degrees. So if that is our negative 86 degrees, this is a theta, say negative 86 degrees. Okay, what is our theta ref? Our theta ref is the positive uh, acute angle between the horizontal line or the horizontal axis and the terminal side. So our theta ref is this one, right? So our theta ref is therefore it is equal to th that angle 86, so it is 86 degrees, right? And it's positive. Next, we have 7321, so this is quite long. So how do we start with 7321? First, divide by 360. And whatever is the remainder will be the one to be manipulated. So 7321 divided by 360 degrees will give us 7321 divided by 360 degrees is around 20, so th this will give us 20.33613 uh, one revolutions, meaning we have 20 revolutions and we have 0 0.3361 uh, factor for one breath. So convert this to or multiply this with 360 degrees and that will give us One hundred twenty-one. So only only this, okay? On, only this factor. Zero point three three six one times three hundred sixty degrees will give us one hundred twenty-one degrees. So this is what we're going to manipulate then. So what is one hundred twenty-one degrees? So after having twenty revolutions, let's say uh, this, 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 this up to here. This is twenty revolutions. We finally have our um, what do you call this? Our our remainders for for 360 degrees, so that's 121 degrees. And 121 degrees is in between your 180 degree angle and your 90 degree angle. So this is 90. Mm. 
this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees, okay, so my angle would then be 121, see it's here, and uh, therefore, this would be my terminal side, and my theta ref would be here, right? So this is my theta ref. Now, how do I find my theta ref? Theta ref is equal to, we have 180 degrees minus 121 degrees. And that is actually equal to, so my theta ref is theta ref or reference angle is equal to 180 minus 121. So that gives me 59 degrees. So my theta ref is 59 degrees. This is 59 degrees. Okay? So this answers the selected numbers for this problem set. These are my reference angles, and these are my sketch for center positions.